Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. In this video, we are going to discuss how much time is required to study the professional part for phase 2 in SEBI IT. So basically, we all know that in SEBI IT, there are three phases of the examination, phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3. In the phase 2, we are going to have the coding paper, which is the toughest and the trickiest part of the entire examination. So we are going to talk about this particular question when students ask me that how much time is actually required for preparation of the professional part. So what I will suggest here is like you cannot uh, say it like it will take two months or one month or one year. It depends at what level you are standing right now and according to that uh, we can just uh, figure out that how much time is required. So we are going to have a detailed discussion and I am going to cover all the kinds of students. You can just uh, find yourself that at what level you are standing and according to that you can uh, get an uh, like gross idea that how much gross time is actually required. So before that, let's first uh, understand the syllabus. So in the syllabus, we have four things, algorithms, data structure, string manipulation and object oriented programming. You can see the data structure and the algorithm are having the highest weightage, which is again indicative only. And then you are having the object oriented programming and then string manipulation. Okay, under this, you have a specific concepts that you have to learn. So we have to learn only these concepts and we can get all 100 out of 100 marks. How to do it? That is the thing that we are going to discuss now. After that thing, how many questions are there? So there will be total 9 questions and you have to attempt only 6 questions. Like 3 out of 4, 2 out of 3 and 1 out of 2. So 3 simple questions, 2 medium questions and 1 high level question. And accordingly, you will get marks. So 10 multiplied by 3, 20 multiplied by 2, and 30 multiplied by 1. This will give you the 100 marks. Okay. The entire time will be 3 hours. I have uh, like made a detailed analysis and regarding all the points that you should know before you go for SEBI IT exam phase 2. That is in a separate video. If you want to understand that thing, you can go and watch that video. But here we are going to focus on the time thing, how we are going to do it, okay? So let's now uh, get uh, to the original topic. I will dis like uh, divide the students into three sets here. The number one will be the beginner level. Number two will be like moderate level. And number three will be like high level, okay, or the pro level. So we all know that in coding also we have some levels. And according to that only, I have just uh, made this kind of filter that for, for beginner, what for moderate and what for high level. So who all can be in beginner? First, let's understand this. The one who never did coding, never did the coding. Students who never did coding means the students who are basically from electronics background, they never are so much into coding unless and until they are working in IT sector and having that kind of area to work on. So there are, this is the very first people and uh, believe me, more than 70% of the students who appear in SEBI IT belongs to this beginner level that they know coding, they know the concept, but they actually never did coding. So this is the thing that is in practice. So they are basically uh, not even practiced any time in past I'll say uh, three to four years. Okay, so no practice in coding area in from past two to like three to four years. These people will be under this first category. The second category people, they will be the people who also never did coding. They are also not currently active in coding. They are not, they are also out of practice. Okay, but they are just like in touch with the concepts. Like they can, they can uh, get it themselves involved uh, with the coding questions. They know how the output input questions work. They are familiar with the code. They never did coding if they are out of practice, but they are familiar with the code. Okay, they understand what the language is like. And here the people who never did coding, who are out of practice from past three to four years, definitely they will not have any kind of language uh, understanding. Like they can't be so much pro in the language areas. But here in the moderate people, they will be knowing the language very well, but they only lack the coding skills. Now, the third category is the high level, that is the pro. These people are regular in coding. These people are regular in coding, at least in one language. 
it means they are doing the coding in their jobs or they are coding out of their uh, like uh, free time they are just good coders uh, okay obsessed with coding so these are the three types of people now you can find at what level you are standing if i talk about this thing uh for high level there are only five percent people who apply in sebi and they are under this category who are regular in coding most of the people are the beginner one and remaining you can just uh, make it like a count that 25 percent people will be in the moderate category now we will discuss how we are going to proceed for these categories so first plan of actions we are going to understand for all these three categories so for the very uh, big uh, thing like for the beginner you have to understand that you don't have any uh, edge in the programming so first task for you is to choose the language choose the language in which you want to code in the phase two so you can choose c plus plus or now oh, one second you can choose python or you can choose java as well okay first make sure that you have one language if you are confused i will ask you to go ahead with the python language because this is the easiest one to learn in the more like uh, less amount of time then after you are done with the language choosing just see what kind of time bandwidth you have how much time you are having are you a working professional or you are uh, like preparing for the government jobs what you are doing or you are studying basically let's say higher education that how much time you are having for the beginner level i will say once you make your mind that you have to give this exam you have to uh, first get an understanding for the entire uh, language uh, at least up till moderate level and then you start coding with the easy questions related to the data structures for doing this thing you will require at least two weeks of time because in two weeks you are going to understand the language concept you are also going to do the easy things with the data structures as per the sebi syllabus okay now once you are done with this easy level you have to upgrade yourself to the moderate level and this will require minimum of four weeks of time given that you can practice this two weeks or four weeks is given that you practice daily at least five to ten questions if you can't do it then definitely it will increase so like here if i take it from five to ten questions so here it will be ten like two weeks will be there so it will be like uh how much question five to ten multiplied by 14 these many questions and there with the four weeks five to ten questions multiplied by four into seven okay these many questions you have to practice okay you just uh, take your time and analyze how much time you can give to make sure that you practice at least five to ten questions i will suggest if you can make it to eight it will be best okay so you just figure out how much time you are going to need i'm not going to give you anything but yes if you calculate this thing it will require minimum of six weeks okay minimum of six weeks so like this is on the minimum side if you are like only studying and targeting sebi and only focused on sebi then definitely six weeks of the uh, like six weeks will be required which is actually two months and maximum you will require four months okay this is the time and it is for practice only i'm not including the phase one so you can just see how much time you are having to do these things the next thing is the, to the moderate thing moderate people what you guys have to choose i think you might be aware that which language you have to go for so yes the language thing for you guys is done now you just have to find out how much time you can give and you have to practice the moderate and high level and the easy questions okay you have to start from the moderate not from the easy you have to start from moderate and you have to like practice these questions like you like let's say in a week let's say one day okay one day and then you can make it according to you in one day you should at least solve uh three questions from the moderate level and two questions from the easy level and if you get any time you can solve one question from the high level okay if you are doing three plus two that is sufficient otherwise one plus three or one plus two will also be sufficient if you are taking any high level question then definitely you can just uh, take any one of these so out of these three you can take any two at a time okay this is for the moderate people and definitely the same thing uh, goes for you guys how much it comes to it comes to six to ten questions basically for you guys and uh, you can just see 
how much you can practice and definitely for moderate people also you are going to require at least three months these are on the higher side okay i'm not saying on the lower side or the lower side definitely it is two months for you okay maximum you will require three months if you practice regularly just see what kind of time you are taking as a student to solve these six to ten questions then coming to the pro level people high level questions for regular coders you guys have to understand the paper pattern okay you understand the paper pattern what is required from sebi what sebi wants you to do in the phase two you just understand that thing and then you practice the questions according to that and this will be the only thing that you need to do but yes for you guys you have to get an understanding of the exam which is very important because what happened when you're solving very high level questions it is so uh, like it happens with most of the student that they are not able to go like in a degrading level they can't do some medium to easy level questions they think only about the difficult question they think only about some typical complex solution so you have to shut down and just channelize your thinking process and understand the exam level again for high level who are regular co doing the coding I, I have no say in that but yes as per the pattern of the shebi you must at least practice three to four questions daily as per the pattern of and the syllabus of the shebi okay so i think i uh, like uh, discussed about everything that how much time you are going to need so nobody can say you that you can go you are going to do it in 10 hours or 1000 hours it's just how you you just have to identify from where, from where you are starting because the starting line for everyone cannot be the same. But yes, the finishing line is waiting for you all and you guys all can be there no matter from where you start. It's just the time and just the distance that you have to travel. So I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, do hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel and if you want regular updates from our side, do hit the bell icon. With iExambi, you prepare 50% faster, so don't miss out to check our course for SEBIT in our demo package. If you have any doubts, you can just reach out to us at hello at iExambi.com or at the number which is flashing on the screen right now. So till the time I bring next video, keep practicing and stay updated.